couple of weeks ago, I wrote a vlog post on my site, Killer PHP, and it was PHP versus Python in 2018. And somebody sent me an email responding to a comment I made about PHP versus Python. And so I'm just going to read you. He quoted this back to me. I would suggest Python if you want to get into AI and ML, and PHP if you want to create web apps or work with WordPress in a serious way. So he responds to me. I'm just going to read this because it's an interesting response. I do a lot of PHP programming for interconnected systems. It is a great backend language for connecting all kinds of systems, calling APIs, put data in databases. It is great language for programming jobs, but runs standalone and have nothing to do with web apps. Yes, I've done that before. You create a few PHP pages with some scripts. You can have PHP interact with the file system, so on. And then you run a cron job on Linux or uh, the similar same thing on Windows. And you just call that PHP and away it goes and it does all kinds of stuff. Let me continue. Would be great if you consider this aspect to that post. Also, I am beginning to do some AI and ML with PHP. There, there are interesting things out there. This is true. I mentioned that in a previous vlog. People have used PHP to do ML and AI. My point is, though, in industry, if you're doing ML, AI, chances are you're doing Python or uh, I think it's the R language. Although you could do it PHP, but remember, when I'm looking at all languages, I'm also considering the job implications, the commercial implications, not necessarily just the technical implications. Does that make any sense? So yes, you can do ML with PHP. Would you? Probably not, because everybody else is doing it in Python. So you're doing PHP, you're going to be like the only person in the world practically is doing it in PHP, and that could leave you high and dry. You know what I mean? He continues to say, PHP is not as resource hungry as Java, 100%. And it's possible to run a web server, a MySQL server, and a lot of PHP standalone programs on a virtual machine with 512 megabits of RAM. With 512 megabytes of RAM, excuse me. Something impossible to do with the Java equivalent. This is true. Java has a heavy startup cost. There's a, there's a heavy footprint, if you will, of Java versus PHP. That's one of the things I like about PHP. It's super lightweight. PHP is good if you're a good programmer and is bad for bad programmers. More freedom comes more responsibility. This is true. This is all true as well. PHP can be used in a hacked way, but you could also write very clean, object-oriented uh, PHP code that has its own ORM and it does everything that every modern programming language does with all the controls, unit testing, and um, I, you know, anyway, I won't get into the details, but everything that you would do with Java, everything you do with C Sharp, everything you do with Python, everything you do with, uh, I guess, Ruby, anything, or JavaScript, anything that you would do with all these languages in terms of sophisticated code writing, you can do with PHP, there's no question. But of course, there's that old PHP legacy where it was developed on a need to nerd basis, kind of a hacked up language. So people who don't use PHP, they still think PHP is on version 3, when in fact it's version 7, which is a huge upgrade, even from version 5. So yeah, everything this guy says is correct. In that article, which I'll link to below this video, in that article, I just point out where PHP is really strong in terms of industry. Again, whenever I look at coding languages, whether programming languages or otherwise, I'm considering the business ramifications as well, not just the technical ramifications. As I said before, all the languages out there, all the modern ones, are pretty powerful and they're all very capable. All depends on you.